welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to discuss uh, Elliot Wave analysis of Euro against uh, US dollars. So there's uh, been a lot of interest in the forex pairs because of the strong bearish price movement that we have seen, and people want to know where exactly prices are heading and. Uh, so we are going to discuss that. If you are interested in the analysis of Elliott Wave analysis of gold and silver, then uh, you need to head back to my Patreon page, which is uh, patreon.com forward slash Elliott Wave Green. Once again, patreon.com forward slash Elliott Wave Green. I will also remember, try to remember to add that link to uh, the description as well. So enough of that. Let's have a quick look on uh, on Euro. Back when I uh, analyzed Joro, uh, first of all, you should remember uh, from my analysis that when this broke, uh, black line broke support, I indicated that we are heading for a correction. At that point, we weren't sure exactly how deep the correction was going, but we took some trades and we took advantage of that trades. So before we head on to the nitty gritty details right over here, I want to show you where exactly we are on the weekly time frame. So first of all, we can see that all the from the top uh, back in 2006, uh, we have seen a strong bearish uh, price movement, and right now we have already created the uh, price upward, price downward as well, and right now we have created another wave up. So basically, wave one and wave two, and a smaller degree wave one and a smaller degree wave two. That's what we are right now going through, and this is also uh, seen from a couple of things that we. Uh, discussed so this is right now what you're looking at it we can see exactly right now this support line drawn from the top gives a clear indication of what's actually happening so the the break of this clear and the support line is give <coughs> my apologies <coughs> so the break of the red support line drawn on a weekly time frame from the top uh, back in 2006 is clearly indicating that we are bullish uh, on Joro However, as you remember, as we know, that prices move uh, from uh, support to resistance or resistance to support, and they vibrate in between. Which that's exactly right now happening. We are definitely going to go up. Uh, how far up? We'll look at that later. But right now, we are considering. We can easily see from the trend line uh, that the break of the trend line has already happened. We can see the price has gone up and corrected, and then gone up. And right now, I believe that the price is going to fall uh, on this trend line. Now this trend line is on a weekly time frame. It has been around about 14-15 years. So you want to be very uh, careful when it gets retested. It might might not be very accurate on a small time frame such as daily time frame. So we need to remember that and we'll keep that in mind. But I'm going to delete this trend line for now because it's going to create a little mess on the chart. So I hope that one thing is proven to you that we went up, we came back down and then we broke the trend line that's been going on from uh, that's been capturing this whole price movement down from last uh, 14 years and we are right now retesting it so we can clearly say that we have an impulsive wave, a corrective wave, an impulsive wave and a corrective wave. Let's head back to our daily time frame and we can see that the black support trend line is also important. This trend line on a weekly time frame is also very important. So a lot of people are going to probably expect that we have seen, uh, we are going to see prices hit that. I don't think so that's going to happen. And because the the structure insides are looking different. So uh, keep an eye on this uh, black trend line as well. And let's head back to the daily time frame. So since we are considering this whole price movement as uh, one and this whole price movement as a collective price movement, I have labeled this as W X another W, uh, sorry, another Y, another X, another Z. So basically, single zigzag correction, double zigzag correction, and third, the triple zigzag. And I believe, just give me a moment, such a little mishap uh, thing happened right over here. I believe that wave A ended right over here, wave B ended right over here, and this is wave C ended right over here at this point. So Y should be somewhere over here, and then we had a, some sort of a flat correction right over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C. So we are considering that, giving us an indication that the trend downward is going to be strong, and that's what we are exactly right now. So 
what exactly where exactly is my price target I'm expecting that we are going to uh, match up the price target in the next few days and this is uh, somewhere around 1.10 uh, 657 so the green line is uh, indicating the target which is 1.10657 1 uh, I'm expecting that we have seen wave A wave B and wave C and this behavior is going to continue and I have found this uh, uh, sub target uh, using a percentage uh, division so you can help yourself how exactly I did that so what happens right now just in case prices comes down and get closer to the green trend line do not actually match the trend line and then reverse all right when they reverse right over here in that cross if they cross this blue trend line on the horizontal line there will be indication that we have seen truncation all right so in that case you can use that the truncation has occurred already uh, but the price has to fall down first and then go up let me go do this let me see if I can uh, actually show it clearly on a four hourly time frame. So you're expecting for the prices to hit the green target, which is around 1.10657. However, if the prices fall down right over here in this region, they do not hit the target and then bounce back above the blue line, which is around 1.11688. That will be indication that the truncation has happened and you can use that uh, in your calculations as well. When you enter the trade right over here, first of all, wait for the prices to go along and see how the prices act. Prices should, on a smaller time frame, give some resistance. You just simply cannot blindly just do that, that a price is approaching the green support line and then the reverse. Uh, so, in basically, I'm not going to be getting very close to the target. I'm expecting in the next few days, we are going to see the prices right over here. Right now, I am not considering this as a tradable move. We have seen sharper price movement and it's not right now. Either it was tradable right over here and or either it will be tradable when it hits the target and it diverts. So on a four hourly time frame, how will we find out uh, that the reversal has happened? We can use the diagonal support line that's occurring, actually connecting wave C and we can use that uh, when the prices go beyond this this particular red line that will be indication that C has occurred if you want to be a little more careful then you can use the daily time frame uh, support line which is actually connecting our Y and our Z and this is also actually connecting basically from X to X alright so you can use this trend line to be you will be more confirmed uh, going this way I am not expecting for the prices to go down right over here and meet this support line black time and uh, let me draw this, the uh, the percentage in case uh, you are wondering what's happening. So this is the percentage tool. Uh, most of you guys, if you are visiting me, uh, have been visiting me for a while, you are well aware of that I am used normally. Uh, this tool which was popularized by, uh, what not a lot of people use it, but GAN used it. So, and I love using it as well. So from this support, the the 100% we can see that we have seen quite a many points right over here. We have seen one interaction right over here at the exact percentage, uh, two points right over here. We have seen another right over here very close, another support coming back. And right now I'm expecting that we are going to see 75% uh, right over here, which is the green target support line. That's why it's also very important the structural support will be coming handy for this very important area as well. I'm not expecting for the prices to follow all along. So next few days are uh, very important. Uh, gold and silver if you are interested in the uh, analysis of gold and silver uh, then please head back to my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green you can join uh, the membership and then you there you will be able to see my analysis on gold and silver if you are trading Azure wish you good luck with your trading please use your own methodology and research as well this is just for uh, educational purposes and wait for the prices to reach here if they are just do not blindly go into the into the trade next trade which is long basically so I'm from um, after next few days I'll be long on Joro and I'll be long for a while so wish you good luck with your trading once again have a good one and bye bye